you know what? Hard hats can be very hot and we're headed into the summer environment. And let's talk about why a hard hat is hot. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's basically the fact, fact that when you think about where most of your heat in your body dissipates, it's through your head, believe it or not. Um, so basically we put a hard hat over that and gather heat under basically a plastic dish. So when we are trying to get away from the hot hard hat, you know, you kind of have to think about a couple things. One of the first ones that's the easiest to do is to go to a vented. So as you can see here, there's little vents here. So that gives the ability for heat to escape while you're wearing the, the hard hat. Um, color can be part of it is obviously black will absorb more uh, energy than white as white tends to reflect it more. So the reason that I bring up the venting first of all is you have a big thing that you got to think about is am I around electrical because any hard hat that is vented is not going to be a series E. So if you work around electricity that's something that you need to go you need to stop and and talk to your safety professional and have that conversation to make sure that you're not putting yourself in harm's way to where again when these are tested yes the principal thing of the hard hat is just basically the strike but there's other things that are built into it and one is the electrical capability so we go from a series e down um, to where we ha offer really no protection for uh, electrical shock uh, where you it's usually E, C, and G are our different classifications. So we're, we're offering no protection in the vented. So let's say we want to continue with the C, or maybe we just stay with the E. There are systems and some aftermarket things that we can add, which can be, you know, Argonon makes uh, chillets. So there are different adapters that either rest in the top of the cap, or as the brow pad and what they kind of go after is realistically we're trying to get evaporation to happen so through evaporation when we make things evaporate they become cooler so again there will be a use of this uh, this is a cellulosic there's the ones that are other materials but again having that uh, hygiene factor of a, a clean helmet but a cool helmet we can we can kind of do by using aftermarket products that that uh, pop into here uh, realistically uh, there's no such thing as going to be the coolest hard hat i have seen systems that actually have fans that blow up through them and while yes that kind of can offer something you're talking a significant price in and relative weight and everything that comes with it. So when we're trying to stay cool in our hard hats, let's think, can we have vents? If we can have vents, let's go with vents. Um, but if we can or can't, doesn't matter. Let's think about some of those evaporative type uh, aftermarket products that we can add into the suspension of the helmet or in the top piece here that can pro help provide evaporation and thus cooling. If you have questions or want to talk about cooling or, or uh, protective headwear, don't hesitate to reach out to us at quadcitysafety.com.